Hi everyone and welcome back. Welcome to a next video. It's a part two, you can say, of uh, next talk, and we are we are talking about integrating the next talk with our Uber Eats clone app. There is admin dashboard which is written in Next Just 13. There we want to use this next talk for the authentication. So we talked about in the last video we talked about a simple authentication using next talk, and in this video we are going to use Prisma as an adapter. So let's see how we can just do that. So we are looking into the documentation. This is how you can integrate the add the Prisma adapter, adapter Prisma adapter. And we will still use JWT based session tokens. If you want to use the Prisma uh, database as a whole, then you need to create all these uh, tables like account table, user table, session table, tables and verify tokens tables. These because you are using all the authentication system using this adapter, then obviously you need to create all these models like in the MongoDB also you need to create all these three or four tape, uh, collections uh, i whatever the the adapters you choose either type orm and prisma you will be doing all the same by introducing all the four tables or what we can do is we are just going to still going to use this uh, provider which is a credential provider and we are going to use just uh, prisma to look into this and restore the the user data there this is the standard configuration i wanted to talk about first like what all configurations you can put first of all line 13 here i'm registering the prisma using prisma adapter you, you can just install that module and here this is a session session and token we have discussed in the detail like what happens if you are changing the strategy to the session based or strategy jwt based so so strategy jwt or strategy database both are different we can still use the adapters prisma adapter and enforce the strategy to the token based only so whatever the token we are generating from the client side cookies that will be just a jwt uh, token which will be sent to the client uh, to send to the client in through the cookies http only based cookies and here we are using these two callbacks what is the use of uh, this uh, jwt and the session for adding the custom parameter for the user instance right so what happens is we are creating this jwt token i want to add the custom parameters so it's like enriching the token with uh, more data so uh, for adding the custom parameters to the user in session we first need to add those parameters and all this is like a simple description this is what we do it and then here this is how we can populate add the custom parameters to user in the session which are added in the jwt call so i mean whatever we are adding in the token we want that attributes in the session also so that i can show that on the the ui because on the ui we are using use session that will give us the session object so like earlier in the video we were talking about session.user so here we are just adding the role and the full name in the session object so whatever at the additional parameters you are adding using this callback session callback you can populate those parameters in the session also so that is important so this is the standard configurations we are adding and then you can also talk about the events so events we are not using that heavily because events like something happens then you can use events to trigger something and here you can see we are using next auth already i need to upgrade next auth to 4.22 that is this is important otherwise you will have issue with issues with adapters and then you can just use this prisma adapter next auth prisma adapter and the prisma client and how prisma works Prisma is really a nice TypeScript based ORM which I'm using since two years. So it's like a, it's going to give you the Prisma client. Even the Prisma client can be used to access the database from the browser. That is the beauty. So here we are going to use a Prisma client in the next year's server side to access the data tables, to do the find, to create, insert, update, delete all the operations. So we are going to create lib. Inside that we can create a, our simple prisma.ts it will give us the instance of the prisma client this is a standard definition of new prisma client and we also want to log the queries so i'm passing that in the log query in the constructor okay it is returning the global object global prisma dot prisma equal to new prisma client that's it if it is a production then uh, global prisma equal to prisma and uh, here we can also what we need is we need a type postgres database because we are using some kind of a database so i need a schema dot prisma first of all that will define my schema so schema dot prisma has a standard uh, document definition here if you just see how to create a simple schema prisma file 
you can just look into the prisma orm i mean prisma docs or let's see adapters and i can go to prisma prisma fifth one and here what i'm doing is yes this is the configuration right so i just need data source client and then your models your tables like i'm going to use only the model user okay so we can just populate the same thing here we are going to use a generator client so i will just uh, create this prisma schema file i will talk about it what we are doing so here generator client data source db and then this is the model what we are going to have in the model id name email password and here we are using this is a prisma schema file we are done with this right and line 16 we have added the prisma adapter but still we are going to use a token based session management if you see the line 21 we are using still using strategy jwt prisma adapters only to just use the prisma to do the read and write i think for that we also don't need to configure that adapter because once you have a prisma client you can use the prisma client to access uh, the data tables so here there are two strategies database and then you can customize these options with this uh, provider with this adapter so here we can look into the documentation uh, a little bit so this is how we are choosing our session base session object all the properties are on it are optional how you want to save the user session the default is jwt which is stored inside a which jwt will be stored inside a session based cookies which are going to be sent to the client but http only if you use adapters like database adapters then you can still enforce this whole configuration to use jwt and jwt also provide a decode and encode method which you can customize like what uh, you want to put inside a token and how you want to decode it so this is a strategy and what we are going to do is npm install all the dependencies we have and we have the prisma schema created so we can start creating the migration generating the client all those sort of things and we will update our uh, routes like register and the login because now we have this prisma and we will just access the prisma client and we will create the user in the database so how we do it await prisma dot this is the user client await prisma dot user dot create that is that is the method and in the prisma client we can just see await prisma dot user dot uh, find unique so this is authorized this is where we are doing a login where email equal to this credential dot email so first we are validating okay does email exist if yes then we will compare the passwords if passwords are equals we are good we can return the user object so if user and if user is not null and await be a compare which is coming from bcrypt.js compare your uh, credential password and the password which is there in the user object we are just going to compare if it is true uh, if it is false then we are not good otherwise what do we have is we have the user object and we got the password compare match so we can just return the the user object so here we can just return user dot id user dot email user dot name whatever we are getting from the payload from the input so same we can put that here so now we are using database table but that is just to store the user data not to store the user session so that's it i think that will work for uh, simple uh simple user login here if user found then we are comparing the passwords if that is match if that doesn't match we will return otherwise we will just return the user object here we are returning null right and then here this is the register method we are doing hash password we created a salt version of it and then here we are doing dot create prisma dot user dot create this is the definition prisma dot user dot create and passing the data object with the name email and the password email and the password email is lowercase and then we will just return the same in the response user dot email because this is a register call we need to return it so that is done so this is how 
we will be returning we will be are doing the, the sign up and then it's time to work on our docker and docker compose because we need a container we need a postgres container to work on our database so these are the configurations which i will be that, that will be available in the code i will push it these are the two secret variables you need next auth url and next auth secret without that okay how the next auth will know where is the api and what is the auth secret to create a jwt token okay now what we do is we have a docker compose and docker compose override that i'm using for almost every project i will share it i will just do a docker compose up that will queue me my container up and running and then we can just do is npm run because this is a first also we need to populate the table so what do we have is we have a docker container running docker compose up will give you the docker container so here we are trying to do the migration so npx prisma that is the command we can use that will help us to do the migration so npx prisma is giving us all these commands so currently we already have our database running on local host some port that we can see in the docker compose yml override file and the you already know postgres database url right so we have configured we need to configure the database url in the env so that our prisma uh, can access that uh, environment variable and initialize our database so this is how we are trying to generate the schema npx prisma generate schema equal to i think there was some typo i mean file not found so let's fix the typo first so what is the file name prisma pri prisma schema dot prisma so maybe something is wrong environment variable loaded from env but doesn't exist dot prisma schema dot prisma doesn't exist okay let's try to see the fix prisma okay the directory is correct Let me see what is the issue here. So we can use Prisma in it also npx Prisma in it. Let's see. I will delete this my schema file. I will create it through the npx. So there is already exist. What we can do is we can copy the content and we'll delete this current configuration and we'll allow this uh, Prisma npx Prisma init command to give me this file. It is created okay now i can go to the prisma schema and this is the database url so here i can just delete it so here i just copied it and i just executed the same command i'm not sure like what was the wrong but when i'm doing it again this is working so this is my schema prisma command i just generated this schema prisma file by running npx prisma init command and then what i can do is i can just generate a migration generate a client so already i have click generated a client right so i will do is npx prisma i think there is a command is generate or migrate dev generate will create a client and migrate dev will create a table based on looking into your configuration and you can see npx prisma migrate dev this is the command i triggered that will create a table in my database and that will give me the schema files there were some issues while running it so i did installation complete and then npx prisma migrate dev it has created that table in my database so how it works is uh, now we can see okay there is a command seed command is also there let's say if i want to bootstrap my first user okay seed command is not there let's see maybe i'm right not writing the seed command correctly it's i think npx prisma db seed uh generate is fine it's generating the client so that we can access the the database i think let me check npx i will check the documentation first so this is how our database is running i mean our application is running
these are our forms so i can see that uh, in our login form so first i will just do a simple register so sign up will redirect you to the login and here you can just change change the password so now we are persisting the user in the database that is the difference now and i can just check the profile what is the the login yes hello hello at the red gmail.com so we are not mocking the implementation now we are actually have the data in the database and you can see these queries are being run insert into find these are the type of uh, prisma queries which we are seeing right because the login is enabled and these are our database table in the the local host uh, that is our database table which contains these name email password right and these are the prisma migration table so that is a simple implementation we have done uh, that's all about how we deal with the prisma adapters